What's up guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another Black Ops 2 Zombies video. So the preview has just come out for the Uprising map pack. If you do want to go see it, I will leave the link to it in the description. But what I'm going to do in this video is break down the Mob of the Dead part. It's going to be awesome. Hope you enjoy guys. If you do remember to hit the like button in the face. If we get this video past 100 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Click the subscribe button for more. Sit back and enjoy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is slow each part down and break it down. So first off, we zoom into this zombie. He's got red eyes. Now, all the zombies have red eyes. So we still don't have an explanation for this. But I did do a theory video on it. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I will leave the link to it in the description. We know that this map's taking place in Alcatraz Prison. And this uh, zombie himself, just this zombie, I'm not sure about the others yet. But uh, this zombie's wearing a officer's uniform, you know. So this guy used to work in Alcatraz Prison before he turned into a zombie. Next up, we get an inside view of the prison. This is a nice one. I don't really think there's anything important to actually point out, other than this will be obviously one of the corridors that we can go down. If you look straight down, there's a door, so maybe we'll be able to break into that. That might be a, uh, it looks like a heavy metal door, something you would see in a prison, but maybe we can throw a grenade at that. Maybe that's another vault that we can get. Looks really awesome. We've got people hanging from the ceiling. Again, no weapons to point out here, other than this is just part of the map, and again, it looks amazing. Here's another part of the prison, this section is labelled Broadway, we can see that we will be able to go upstairs and downstairs, it's going to be a pretty big map, I'm not sure if you'll be able to jump off ledges like you could in Dire Eyes, I'm not sure if it's that high, but it looks pretty awesome, I don't think there's anything inside that cells, doesn't look like you can get in most of them, but probably some of them you will be able to get into, maybe some perks in there yet. Again, another section of the prison. This is a really big map. Doesn't look like there's any signs of buildables yet. I also haven't seen any signs of guns or maybe easter eggs. We've just got loads of stairs, loads of different areas inside, and I'm sure there's going to be loads of areas outside as well. It also looks like the inside's going to be quite tight. Now, you have to quickly pause here or you'll miss it before we actually zoom into the title of this map. But right at the back there, you can see in blue, there's a gun on the wall. I still can't actually quite make out what it is. It looks like it could be the stakeout. It's some kind of shotgun. Now what I'm going to do is repeat everything that Jason Blundell says. So, he says, we wanted to take the story somewhere new and change the vibe. We're embracing this idea of horror thriller. So then we went to Alcatraz. So here we get to see the outside of Alcatraz prison. We just get to see how big this map actually is. And trust me, it is quite big. Now look at the scenery. Look how amazing this map looks. How horrifying it's going to be. Okay, so again, there's quite a lot in this image. It's a dark map. It's really good. I love the scenery. We've got buildings at the front. We've got smaller buildings. And at the back, we've got the main prison area. That looks to be the main prison area anyway. And if you look just behind that main prison area, right at the back, we can also see an orange light going up. So yes, that's the new mystery box light. It's now orange. It's not blue like it used to be. Okay, so here's another view of the prison of the outside again. There's actually too much to tell other than it looks absolutely amazing. But this scene, a lot of you will be interested in. Okay, so what Jason actually says here is this map is going to be taking place from the 1920s to the 1930s, you know, that's when Alcatraz Prison was actually in use. And what does that mean? Well, it means we'll be having a lot of World at War weapons back into this map, Mob of the Dead. It's going to be really awesome on screen now. I believe that's the PPSH, one of my favourite guns from World at War Zombies, from Nazi Zombies. And again, just having these back, these characters, what I'm going to get into in a minute, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so next we see all the four characters together. It's Rayleigh Ota, Chaz Palmentari. Joe Basliana and Michael Madsen. And together, all of these four just look absolutely badass. We can see the zombies here coming out of the prison cells. I'm guessing these were prisoners. They've all turned into zombies. They got infected. Okay, so this is really Ota. He looks really buffed up and muscly. He's holding his LMG just to show how powerful he is. This is an LSAT show. We are having old weapons and uh, future weapons from, you know, 2025 in this map. It's going to be awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did we just see there? Okay, so if you look to the left there, there's a ball of fire. Well, that is the new Hellhound. It doesn't look like the old Hellhounds. It's going to be replacing the Denizens and whatever we've got in Dire Eyes. It looks kind of like it's flying, but it doesn't seem to be moving when I'm watching this over and over again. I'm not really too sure if this got any new powers. Maybe it could breathe fire or something. I don't know. You guys would have to go over and watch that again. This is Chaz Palmentari. It looks like he's older than his Mini Uzi. It might be or the Mach 11. I think it's the Mini Uzi. Uh, but yeah, it looks like another really cool character. Next up is Joe Basliano, it looks like he's holding the Fal again, another really awesome weapon, I think we actually had that in Black Ops 2 Zombies. And finally we've got Michael Madsen holding the Executioner. And just as we're getting into the end guys, we've got another look at the outside of Mob of the Dead, looks amazing, there's loads and loads of different passages we can go to, it looks like we've got one of the guard towers that we might be able to get up to there, or could actually be a trap, I think I was reading that in one of the descriptions, 
uh, yeah, we're getting to the end now, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to hit that like button. And this final screenshot is not actually too much to tell, other than it's a really, really scary corridor. We've got dead bodies there from the prisoners, I presume. It's going to be amazing. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown, guys. If you think I've missed anything, then please do tell me in the comment section below. Going to be doing more videos of this, some other things I want to tell you about these characters. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit the like button if you did enjoy. I've put some time, at F, time and effort into this, trying to find these things for you guys. Click the subscribe button if you want to see some more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, peace out.